Cyclone Freddy first made landfall in Mozambique's Inyaban province before disappearing towards Madagascar. It was along these shores in Zambezia that it circled back and pounded the country for a second time. I don't think people had the um, knowledge, enough knowledge, what the magnitude would be of this cyclone. And it naturally, as we all know, when you have a roof, you think you are, you are protected. We need to start preparing for the next cyclone, which we don't know when it's coming. And we need to strengthen the early warning systems. That so this becomes part of our life, our daily life. Mozambique's geographic position places it on the path to most cyclones in this region, making it one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change. Firoza Ismael's restaurant on the beach managed to stay standing despite gusty winds and falling trees. She admits it was a lucky escape. Last year we had floods. This year we had a cyclone. I believe we need to look at this area and add more trees so we can avoid soil erosion. Our beach is being lost to erosion. I don't really understand how we can stop this. What we need are specialized people who can help improve and save our beach from climate change. Freddy has been the longest and strongest tropical cyclone to hit Mozambique. It brought twice the average monthly rainfall in just a few days, which many weren't prepared for. Mozambique is just a province that's prone to floods and, and drought. But I think with the climate change, and um, all the, the, the concepts that are, are coming up, this was really a, one of the biggest disasters for this province. Homes and infrastructure takes years to reconstruct and government lacks the funds. Many in the community are coming together to rebuild schools and hospitals. The government will rebuild the schools, which is going to take a long time. But our association has a project to reconstruct schools and some hospitals to give back to the community. There have been moves towards a more climate resilient strategy. The country recently signed a multi-million dollar deal with the European Union to lessen the impact of extreme weather events on people and infrastructure. Julie Shara, Kilimani, in the Zimbezia province, Mozambique.